person. I'll give the example where we know Raqib took human form. So al-malaika taqdiru ala tashakkul wa dalilu dhalik hadithu Jibreel kama na'am. نعم بينما نحن جلوسا عند رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ذات يوم طلع علينا الرجل شديد بياض الثياب شديد سواد الشعر لا يرى عليه أثر السفر وفي آخر الحديث يا عمر وتدري من السائل قال الله ورسوله أعلم قال فإنه جبريل أتاكم يعلمكم دينكم so a person he came before them and that person was Jibreel in the form of a human and uh, so the angels can take form so Raqib took the human form so I was in Turkey my wife during the years of anarchy so between 1976 and 1980 is very intense political period in Turkey. There were uh, various political parties, the Muslim party, Mili Salamat Partisi, under the leadership of Najmuddin Erbakan. You had the fascist, the leadership of Turkish, the, the com communists, on the, uh, Ejavich. You had the uh, Say the Turkish nationalists and the Demaral, Suleiman Demaral, Alakulahan. So we were, there were killings every day. Our friend was assassinated, who was a journalist and one of the leaders of the student movement. Every day people were getting killed. So one day we were going to visit a very pious old lady. She was a, a Arab, knowledgeable Arab woman. They call her. A, Arab Huja. And uh, we would go visit her. So they lived in a poor part of Adana, Adana, Turkey. So we were at Injilik, which was the American Air Force Base. So we were walking down the street. And right before we got to this alleyway, this person just came out of nowhere and pushed us back and then disappeared. And then bullets started flying out of the alley. So that's my wife. Is that how it went down? Rapid. And I'm seriously like, appear, disappear. La ilaha illallah. Allahu musta'an. يَلْفِظُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَفِيدٌ اللهم صل على محمد فالله رقيب لعباده الله protects his servants أي حفيظ لهم يعلم أحوالهم ويعد أنفاسهم he preserves them he knows their states and he enumerates their breaths counts their breaths. Allah watches over us to, serve, to such an extent He knows every breath that we take. We should be more mindful of our breaths because we only have so many. Once they're gone, they're gone. Stop breathing. All of us have an allotted number of, of, of breaths and who will enumerate those Allah. Wa yu'uddu and fasa. المجيب الذي يقابل مسألة السائل بالإسعاف. so المجيب is the one who reciprocate not reciprocate حق الله it's not a good word the one who sends help At the plea, when when the uh, supplicant pleads for help, 
translate it like that. The one who sends help, is not when the supplicant said, pleads for help. So when when we plead for help, it's Allah who sends the help. Allah creates means to help us. We pray that Allah helps and assists every oppressed supplicant who cries out. Make dua for the Muslims in Sri Lanka. Because even before all that what happened last Sunday happened, there were being there's a movement of militant Buddhists related to the ones in Myanmar who chased out the Rohingya in Sri Lanka, which is a majority, overwhelming Buddhist majority. These aren't your Dalai Lama Buddhists. And they were already oppressing them. Well, now, in the aftermath of all this, there's, it's already just infinitely worse. It's, it's already very bad. A friend of mine is from Sri Lanka. He sent me a text a couple hours ago. He said that his, I think his uncle went to rent an apartment and apparently it was already lined up. We don't rent to Muslims. So it's, it's persecution, it's discrimination, there's violence. May Allah protect them. Allah bismihi, bismihi rakib, bismihi rakib, and your father, wa yahmih, jamian al fatiha. الذي يقابل مسألة السائل بالإسعاف ودعاء الداعي بالاستجابة. And the the prayer of the the supplicant with an answer. وضرورة المضطرين بالكفاية. And the the necessity the needs of those who are persecuted with sufficiency. Allah suffices those who are persecuted. So, this this is the dunya, brothers and sisters. It's the abode of trials, tribulations. It's the abode of persecutions. It's the abode of, of happiness. There are weddings. There's Eid. There are gatherings. There are come. They're so, but it's not the abode of permanence. Whatever transpires here in this dunya will pass soon enough. So we're in the clutches of a path, of a difficult struggle, difficult trial. Don't despair of Allah's mercy. Don't despair of relief of Allah. Just say to yourself, this too shall pass. Because it's, temp it's temporary. Everything is temporary. And so the state that you're in now, it will pass. It will be replaced by another state. It will, be, it will be replaced by another state. A lot of times Allah, one of the, the explanations that Imam al-Baghawi gives for la yusuf al-qadr illa dua nothing alters the decree except dua. He says that when you make dua and you express your trust in Allah, and you, you express your confidence that Allah will give you relief and will grant you what you pray for. If you make dua in the tribulation by deputing your affair to Allah and trusting in Allah, you look at that same tribulation from a different angle. And from the new angle, you see the relief within the tribulation. Because you're looking at it through the lens of Allah. اتقوا فراسة المؤمن فإنه ينظر اتقي نعم اتقوا فراسة المؤمن فإنه ينظر بنور الله. Beware of the the insight of the believe of the believer for verily he sees with the light of Allah. So Omar when. His party was about to be ambushed 
almost a thousand way, miles away on the frontier of Iraq. Yes, Ali at the Jabal. So warning them there's a ambush waiting behind the mountain. He was on the mimbar in Medina and he saw it. This Firasa. So a believer has Firasa. Has a penetrating insight that Allah allows to see things that the physical eye normally couldn't see. So beware. Beware of the believer. Beware of the insight the believer has. There are people that they can they can they can read your heart. They they can know who you are. I told some of the uh, Shabbat the story when Sheikh Hamza first converted, his name was Abdul Wahid. And he was beginning, so the beginning text of Maliki Thik is Ibn Ashir. Ibn Ashir's name was Abdul Wahid. So he was going, he was in Fez, he was going to visit the grave of Abdul Wahid. So they told him, don't give any beggars any money. Because if the beggars see you give one beggar, they'll swamp you. And then it's hopeless. So he's walking, he's ignoring all the beggars. Atini, atini. So one beggar, he stopped them. Atini flus. So he comes in the Remembers the instruction, don't give anyone, because they'll all swamp you. Not any fools. And the beggar said, Enter Abdul Wahid. Wa ana Abdul Wahid. Enter Tazuru Abdul Wahid. Not any fools. So you put it like that. Bismillah. He said, your name is Abdul Wahid, my name is Abdul Wahid, and you're going to visit Abdul Wahid. Give me some money. And Sheikh Jihad, when we were studying in uh, Syria, Sheikh Jihad Brown went for Umrah. And there was a group of, oh, Yemeni men. So one of the Yemeni men stopped him. He said, enter Talib and Amriki. Ta'atimir. He said, you're an American student, you came from Omar. And then Sheikh Jihad was like shocked. And then the Yemeni man started laughing. And he said to his friends, he doesn't believe me. Taqwa farasat al-mu'min fa'innuhu yandurru bi nuri Allah. Allahumma salli al Al-Mujib. الذي يقابل مسألة سائل بالإسعاف ودعاء دائي بالإجابة ودروعة المضطرين بالكفاية أليس الله بكاف عبده الله should suffice all of us is Allah, is Allah, is Allah not sufficient for his service brothers and sisters don't look for sufficiency in the world طالبان لا يشبعان Talib al-ilm wa talib al-dunya. Two seekers are never satiated. The seeker of knowledge and the seeker of the world. So don't look for sufficiency from the world. It will never suffice you. Look for sufficiency with Allah. And you will find it. And it's, it's nice. It's good. It's fulfilling. It's uplifting. Satisfied. Rather, Allah bestows His, His He He gives before the request is made. Why? Because Allah has already determined you get whatever you have in azal, pre-existing eternity, pre-eternity rather. He's already decreed it. It just hasn't manifested itself chronologically in our world. For chrono chronology is relevant for us, not with Allah. And so, يُنْعِمُ قَبْلَ النِّدَاءَ وَيَتَفَضُّلُ قَبْلَ الدُّعَاءَ And he extends his bounties before the call and the prayer, the supplication is even made. عَزَّوَجَانَ الْوَاسِوُ الَّذِي 
wasa'a ilmuhu samawati wal ard. Al wasir is the one whose knowledge extends. So wasir meaning wide, expansive. He's the ones whose knowledge extend, extends over the heavens and the earth. Wasa kulla shayin rahmatan wa ilma. And he 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 ex, his his mercy and knowledge extend over everything. Nothing escapes Allah's knowledge, nothing escapes Allah's mercy. That's why we should never hesitate to ask for Allah's mercy. Rahmataka ya Allah. Because nothing escapes it. We just might fail to see it. Like we said, I said, I said, you make dua. Something you didn't see before, now you can see. Because now you're seeing through your supplication. You're seeing through your dependence on Allah. You're seeing through your deputing your affair to Allah. Whereas when you were looking with your own eyes, and not through the, 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 the light of Allah, you were blind. It's a spiritual reality. That's the, the, the uh, ship captain who wrote the song, Amazing Grace. I once was blind, but now I see. No, I, I once was lost, now I found was blind, but now I see. Because he was he was out in the darkness, then he deputed his affair to the divine, as he understood the divine. So, Allah, if Allah's mercy extends over everything, that means nothing escapes it. If nothing escapes it, that means if we don't find it, we're not looking for it. And that's why it's important to purge our hearts. So that we look with our basira, with the vision of our hearts, not with the vision of our physical eyes. So you, your mercy and your knowledge extends over everything or you extend it over everything you extend your mercy and your knowledge over everything nothing is Allah is not ignorant of anything Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa qila huwa al-ghali qala ta'ala liyunfaqadu sa'atin min sa'atin let the wealthy one spend from his wealth. One who has expansive wealth, spend from that expansive wealth. So, yani, a, dhughina min ghinahu. So, al wasi' al ghani, the yunfuq, dhusatin min saatin, dhughina min ghinahu. La ilhalullah. Allah is ghani. And so this is one meaning of wasa, the expensive. Waqila huwa al jawad. And it said he is one who is gen- most expansive in his generosity. Lianna dal judi. Lianna dal judi. Yusafu. Bisat al sadri. Because the one who is uh, Jawad, generous, his generosity is described as expansiveness of breast. Yani having a, a, an expansive breast being very magnanimous. So above pettiness. So one who extends his gifts without without thinking about who's receiving them. Very close to Karim and Karim and Jawad as Sakhi. And it's 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 expansiveness of breast and 
whose generosity covers the, the, even the smallest space between drops of water. وقال الإمام الكوشيري في الهامش وأقوى الأقوال كما ذكر الكوشيري في معناه هو الواسع العطاء So the, the strongest uh, statement in terms of the واسع is as Imam Kushiri said its meaning is the one most expansive in his giving واسع العطاء كثير الخير most abundant in his good so we should we should just we should try to be people of good we find some muslims who they take every opportunity they find to do something bad it's not a, it's a small amount but there's just something we should be festival khayrat we should be buying for good we should be buying for good. We should be. We mentioned the, the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Uh, I mean, seek good. Seek good in every moment you spend on this earth. And expose yourself to the gentle breezes of your Lord's mercy. And doing good, that's how we expose ourselves. So when those breezes blow, we're doing good. That's the exposure, and we catch the breeze. As Ibn Rajab, he says, فَإِنَّ لِلَّهِ نَفَحَاتُ رَحْمَتِهِ يُصِيبُ بِهَا مَنْ يَشَاءُ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ Because Allah has gentle breezes of His mercy, He touches therewith whomsoever He pleases of His servants. فَمَنْ أَصَابَتْهُ سَعِدَ سَعَادَةً لَا يَشْقَى بَعْدَهَا أَبَدًا Whoever is touched by one of those breezes experiences bliss that's so profound they're never saddened for the rest of eternity. فَمَنْ أَصَابَتْهُ سَعِدَ سَعَادَةً لَا يَشْقَى بَعْدَهَا أَبَدًا That's what it's all about, brothers and sisters. Ahmed, that's what it's about, Habib. لا يشقى بعدها أبدا السعادة الأبدية التي تبدأ في هذه الدنيا eternal bliss that starts in this world لا إله إلا الله May Allah touch all of us with one of those reasons نعم هو الواسع العطاء كثير الخير لأن كثرة عطائه لا تعد ولا تحصى it's because the abundance of his giving cannot be enumerated nor can it be uh, counted. It can neither be counted nor enumerated. It's too vast. لا إله إلا الله. ثم قال رحمه الله وعلم أن نعم الله نوعاني. You should know that the blessings of Allah are of two types. نعمة نفع وهي نعمته التي أولاها إياها فنحن نراها So the, the blessings of immediate benefit and these are his blessings which he gives to us uh, which, he, which he gives to us and we see them so we see the blessing of clothing we see the blessing of food we see the blessing of water we see the blessing of shelter we see the blessing of good company. This is a ni'matul nafi. So these are blessings Allah gives us to benefit us. We benefit from the water. We benefit from the cold. benefit from the good company. We benefit from the shelter. So he says, Imam al-Kushir, ni'matul nafi. Wa hiya ni'matul lati awlaha iyaha. Wa nahnu naraha. And the blessing of warding off. And this is what Allah wards off from us from various types of afflictions and ruinations. 
وَهِيَ نِعْمَةٌ مَجْهُولًا And these are unknown blessings. So we don't know Allah warded off from us Ebola. We could we can't have an Ebola outbreak in America. Kun fayakun. But Allah is warded off, so we don't see that. But we we we, we are the beneficiaries of it. But these we don't see. He says that these blessings are unknown. Because we don't we don't know uh, these things that are being warded off from us except in very rare instances. Allah extend us benefits and if Allah Allah defa and may Allah ward off and push away things from us. The Maqal al Hakim Al Hakimu Dul Hikmah, the one possessing wisdom. Wal Hikmatu Ibaratun an Ma'rifti Afdul al Ashya'i bi Afdul al Ulum. It's it's an expression on the knowledge of the most virtuous things through the most virtuous forms of knowledge. وَجَلُّ الْأَشْيَاءِ هُوَ اللَّهُ تعالى. And the most majestic of all things is Allah. Be He exalted. وَهُوَ الْحَكِيمُ الْحَقُّ لَأَنَّهُ يَعْنَمُ أَجَلَّ الْأَشْيَاءِ بِأَجَلِّ الْعُلُومِ And Allah is the wise, the truth, because He knows the most majestic things through the most majestic knowledge. So, إِلْمُ اللَّهِ أَجَلُّ مِنْ عِلْمِنَا Allah is Knowledge is more majestic than our knowledge. Evident. If أجل العلوم هو العلم العلم الأزلي القديم الذي لا يتصور زواله because the most majestic of all knowledge is pre-existing, pre-eternal knowledge which one could not imagine it being removed. Allah's knowledge is eternal. Our knowledge is created. Allah's knowledge is inherent. Our knowledge is learned. We wouldn't, we wouldn't know anything if Allah didn't facilitate our learning. We'd be like the wolf boy. The wolf boy thought he was a wolf. That's why he didn't learn anything of human knowledge. And they could never, when they, I think he was 10 years old, they tried, couldn't learn to read, write, talk, do math. And he died a few years later. So the boy got lost and was raised by wolves. He's walking on all fours. What a law. Allah's knowledge is not created. And it's not contingent. Our knowledge is contingent. It's contingent on teachers. It's contingent on a sound intellect. It's contingent on uh, um, reasonable memory. It's contingent on many things. It's contingent on our hearing and our seeing. And one who loses both of those faculties has no religious responsibility because of the difficulty for them Allah al Musta'an. Allah Allah. Wa huwa hakim al haqqu li anhu yalamu ajal al ashiyah bi ajal al ulum. Ith ajal al ulum huwa ilm al azali al qadim al ladi la yutasawur zawal al mutabiq lil ulum lil maalum mutabaqatan la yatatarqu ilayh khafa khafa and his knowledge is perfectly consistent with that which is known with reality. So our knowledge might not perfectly correspond with reality because we we don't properly conceptualize it. The 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 soul. But Allah's conceptualizing perception is all perfect and that being the case 
Allah's knowledge completely corresponds with reality because He is reality. He is Al Haq. And so it's, it's not uh, amenable, it cannot be penetrated or breached by something being hidden from it nor some doubt in it. So we learn things and we, we doubt. Because again, we have short sightedness, we have insufficient ability to comprehend some things. Allahumma sallu rasulia wa la yatasifu wa la yatasifu bi dhalik illa ilmu Allahi ta'ala and this knowledge is only Allah is the only one described with this perfect knowledge and so that's the foundation of his perfect wisdom as far as we're concerned one definition of hikmah is the one that's given by Ibn uh, Qayyim Jawzi so fi'lu ma yanbaghi so doing the most appropriate thing be uslubin and bari with the most appropriate method or way fi waqtil ladhi fil waqtil ladhi yanbaghi at the most appropriate time fi'lul fi'lul fi'lu ma huwa fi'lu ladhi yanbaghi bi uslubi ladhi yanbaghi bil waqtil ladhi yanbaghi doing the most appropriate thing in the most appropriate method at the most appropriate time and all of that requires knowledge knowledge of what is the most appropriate action knowledge of what is the most appropriate method knowledge of what is the most appropriate time so knowledge and wisdom are twins Knowledge of Allah is perfect, therefore Allah's wisdom is perfect. And so when when we something befalls us and we think it's terrible, understand it's from Al Hakim. And so as opposed to questioning Allah, try to find the wisdom behind what Allah is decreed. And we'll be elevated tremendously. وقيل معناه المحكم 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 المتقن that its meaning is perfect ma- perfect mastery to master something with perfection and again that perfection is for Allah subhanahu wa taala الودود you can say this is the loving الودود الذي يحب الخير لجميع الخلق the one who loves good for all of creation or we can translate it all of humanity so Allah يحب الخير لجميع الخلق and so at تخلق adorning ourselves with this name we should love good for all of the creation we shouldn't desire evil if Allah wanted evil for us he'd wipe us all out he sustains us. He gives us time to repent. These people did these acts in Sri Lanka. This says the narrative is they say they're Muslim. <coughs> so they, they're put in jail. in the isolation of the jail with time to think away from their internet where they might have got sucked into some of these vile thoughts they repent they kill all these people slaughter and mayhem they sincerely repent will Allah accept their repentance Allah will accept their repentance and Allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami'a Allah, Allah forgives all sins. Allah's forgiveness is greater than anyone's sin. And and that repentance will be a manifestation of the good Allah wants for that person. That's a manifestation. Allah wants good. Even for the criminal. So 
So Allah, Allah gives them an opportunity to repent. The man who killed 100 people, his repentance was accepted. And he never did a good deed. He was only trying to go to the good land to join the good people. And the angel of mercy took his soul. You all know the hadith. We mentioned it more than a few times. And he does good to them. And he bestows his blessings upon them. And so Wadud is very close to the meaning of Rahim, merciful. So these two are frequently linked. Because there's no true love without mercy. مَثَلُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ فِي تَوَدِّهِمْ وَتَرَحُمِهِمْ The parable of the, uh, of the believers in their mutual love and their mutual mercy. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ إِنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُلُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنُكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمًا مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمًا فَهُوَا قَرِيبٌ من الرحيم. What is what is mercy? Mercy is the willingness to sacrifice on behalf of your beloved. You're willing to give up even your very life for your beloved. That's mercy. وقيل هو الودود المجيب. Say he's the loving, the one who uh, answers this, the prayers of the supplicant. وقال الحسن مناح الحسن الفعال and Hassan says that it means the one who has the has good actions قال وحفظ العبد من هذا الاسم the share a servant has of this name أن يكون هذا في الهامش رقم اثنين تحت وحفظ العبد من هذا الاسم أن يكون ودودا. So he said that the portion a servant has of this name is that the person is loving. The person wants good for everybody. This is this is what we have to teach. So this is this is our religion. This is this is. This is Imam Suyuki, this is a thousand years ago. This isn't some modern progressive Muslim person. It's Imam Jalaluddin al Suyuti, a muhaddith, al alim, al faqih, al lugawi. Wa 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 wa. He was a polymath. But he's at the heart of the classical period. And so this is, this is what. Well, we're, we're taught, but these teachings escape people. The people do things to each other that sh members of street gangs don't do to each other. I've seen Muslims do things to each other that street gangs have a, have a higher code of ethics in common. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely, that's the that's the foundation. Ala wa inna fil jasadi mulghatan ida salahat salah al jasudu kulu, ida fasadat fasad al jasudu kulu ala wa yal qal. There's the, an organ in the body. If it's sound, the whole body is sound. The limbs will do good. The eyes will look at good. The ears will listen to good. Ida fasadat fasadat jasudu kulu. And if it's corrupt, the whole body is corrupt. نعم absolutely نحفظ العبد من هذا الاسم أن يكون ودودا والودود من عباد الله من يريد الخلق ما يريد لخلق الله كل ما يريد لنفسه and so the loving from the servants of Allah are those who desire for all of Allah's creatures what they desire for themselves meaning meaning humans وأعلى من ذلك من يؤثرهم على نفسه. And a higher station than that is one who gives preference to them over himself. 
So that's not just preference to them and physical things. You eat. There's not enough for both of you. You don't eat later. No. It's also giving preference in your ideas. So give up then. No, no. This is what it means. You're so stupid. You can, why can't you just see? Just back up. He thought fil Giving preference in thoughts and ideas. Okay. Yeah, inshallah, maybe, maybe you're right. I could be wrong. I need to go research. And the ethar, laysa faqat fil mahsusat. Okay, that it has to be fil ma'nawiyat, wa fil ma'lumat. Giving preference in your ideas. Giving preference in the intangible things that one might not even see. It's a wider meaning of it, uh, Ifah. And the perfection of that beyond Ifah. And la yamna'uhu al gharabu wa al hikdu wa ma nalahu min al ada an al ithari wa al ihsani ilayhim. And the perfection that it doesn't allow anger, nor rancor, or what he's received from them from abuse to prevent him from giving preference to them and being good to them. So then, then who, who has my back? Man, they'll think I'm a pushover. They'll think I'm a punk. They'll walk. وما تواضع أحد وما زاد الله عبدا بعفو إلا عزة. Allah doesn't increase a servant who has the ability to pardon except by making them more noble and honorable. ما زاد الله عبدا بعفو إلا عزة. وما تواضع أحد لله إلا رفعه الله. Allah has your back. No one's going to trample over you, run over you, push you over. So we have, to, we have to get into the space where we can manifest that degree of trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we hold on. No, I got I to gotta be mean. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. If you approach it like that, you're going to be in a lot of najasa. Because dog is haram. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. No. We, we're going to trust in Allah. We're going to be people who overlook. We're going to be people who, who continue to give even when people abuse us. This is the exact opposite of the, the zeitgeist. The spirit of our age. No, you don't overlook anyone. And you, 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 you want to impose and you want to take. Give me my rights. So again, I'm not making this stuff up. This is, this is our deen. وَكَمَالُ ذَلْكَ أَنْ لَا يَمْنَعَهُ الْغَرَبُ وَالْحِدُّ وَمَا لَا نَالَهُ مِنَ الْأَذَى عن الإيثار والإحسان إليهم وهذا مثاله سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم. So we have to define, decide, decide who we who we follow. Are we following Foucault and these people? Following Marx? Following Freud? Fraud. We're following Sigmund Fraud. Are we, are we following these people? Are we following Rasulullah? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Shuf. Unbur. Unburu. Wa hadha mithaluhu Sayyiduna Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Kusirat rabaiyatuhu. Wa udmiya. Wajhuhu sharif. His tooth was broken at Uhud. His face was, his noble face was bloody. 
فقال الله مغفير لقوم فإنهم لا يعلمون. Despite that, he said, Oh Allah, forgive my people because they know not what they do. فإنهم لا يعلمون. So he didn't have all this hatred and rancor and bitterness in his heart based on what his enemies were doing to him. Today, people aren't doing anything. What are these innocent people doing to Boko Haram? They kidnap the and all these girls. They don't tell you that because they don't. They the 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 Muslim being victimized by these crimes is, is goes against the paradigm. All the girls were Muslims that they kidnapped. Most of those people, the village they're burning, they're Muslims. There was a New York Times expose on this. May Allah give us tawfiq. But but what did those people do to them? What did those people do to them? You know, the, the people bombing marketplaces in Baghdad or here or there. What did those people, innocent people, do to them? They didn't do anything to them. They didn't do anything to them. Let's say these people in Sri Lanka, let's say they're Muslims, they're for the sake of argument. Allahu Alam with these people. What do those Christians do to them? They didn't do anything. What did the enemies of the Prophet said? They almost killed him. They stoned him. They chased him out of his town. And what did he say? Allahumma gfir lahum fa innahum la ya'lamun. Allahumma gfir li khawmi fa innahum la ya'lamun. Ya Allah, forgive my people. They don't know what they're doing. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have to get beyond this stuff. You know, what, what did the white guy do to the black Muslim? Now renounce your white privilege. What? Yeah, keep your privilege. Use it to help help us get ahead. If you renounce it, we don't have any. Now you don't have any because you renounced it. So it's a lose-lose situation. We don't even think about what we say. This isn't a way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah give us tawfiq. Sallallahu Allahu maqfi li qawmi fa innahum la ya'lamun. Al-Majid, al-Sharifu thatuhu, the one most noble in his essence. Noble, al-Majid. Wa jameelu af'aluhu, and most beautiful in his actions. Al-Jazeelu ata'uhu wa nawalu, the one who's most generous in his his giving and his favors. قال الإمام الحرمين إمام حرمين الجويني ويمكن حمله قال ويمكن حمله على الكريم so you can uh, understand this with the meaning of كريم so remember كريم الكرم الكرم the one who gives and doesn't concern himself with how much he gives or to whom he gives one who gives freely and so this is so that's a noble person it's a noble a, a person ignoble person is a person you know that person needs water no well when I was thirsty they didn't give me any water that's ignoble well people some people think like that no they didn't give me water I was dying of thirst I could have passed out they just walked by and kept drinking their water. That's, that's uh, the opposite of Karim wa Majid. The noble person, the person is all, yeah, Bismillah. Someone comes, yeah, yeah, that dude, when you were starving or dying of thirst, they just walk by you. So what? What do I care? So, so what? I suppose that now he's dying of thirst, I'm supposed to hold back. هذا ليس ليس بمجيد ولا كريم وقال الإمام الحرمين ويمكن حمله على الكريم فإن المجيد شاعر بمعنى الكريم so مجيد uh, emanates from the meaning of كريم so that 
uh, unfeathered generosity. Al-ba'ithu alladhi yuhya la khalqa yawm al-nushur wa yubathiru ma thil kubur wa yubathiru ma thil kubur wa bu'athira ma thil kubur wa Allah yubathiru ma thil kubur So al-ba'ith, he's the one who revives the creation on the day of the resurrection. And he, he, he brings forth and scatters those who have been buried in the grave. So they'll come forth and then start walking around. So scatter. Ba'thara is to scatter. Wa fi sudur. And that which is in the hearts will be exposed. The love or the hate, the jealousy, the envy, the generosity. So all of that will be exposed. And Taban, who is the fa'il, is, is called bin al Majhul. But the fa'il is Allah. You hustle Allah. And the صوبه وقيل بعث الرسل للعباد and it said al ba'ith is the one who sends forth the messengers to the servants ويكون ايضا al ba'ith في وضعه بمعنى انه يبعث القواتر او يبعث القواتر الخفيفه الخفيه في الاسرار so Al-Ba'ith also is the one uh, who means the one who uh, brings forth the hidden thoughts that are within the deepest recesses, deep recess of the hearts. So uh, may Allah give us tawfiq. So we're stopping. Any questions or comments before we disperse? May Allah give everyone tawfiq. What taysir. And may Allah bless us to, to embody these characteristics to the extent humanly possible. And may we be Majid and Hakim, Wadud, and Wasa, Mujib. People call on us, we should respond. You know, give something to that lunch group captain. Even a dollar. You know, people ask for your help, try to help them. Sincerely, because this is the means to the help of Allah. Wallahu fi awn al abdi, la kan al abdu fi awn yaqihi. Allah will continue to help the servant as long as the servant is helping his or her brother or sister. May Allah uh, bless it. May Allah bless the uh, raqib. We try to protect each other, protect each other's honor, protect each other's property. You know your brother or sister is at home, go by their pay house and take the newspaper out of the driveway. This is how thieves operate. They drive through, see a newspaper, two, three newspapers, you know the people at home. They're on vacation. Go take their papers in, pick up their papers. Take their garbage out. So protect. Alhamdulillah. There's no question. Allah make this gathering of ours one enveloped by your mercy and our departure from it one that goes under your protective grace ولا ترع عندنا ولا فينا ولا معنا شقيا ولا محروما and don't leave in our midst amongst us in our presence anyone who is sad and be placed on a path that leads to perdition or their ruin اللهم تقبل منا زدنا ولا تنقصنا اللهم أنت مولانا فأنصرنا على القوم الكافرين 
ببركة القرآن العظيم وبحرمة من أرسلته رحمة للعالمين سيدنا وحبيبنا وكرة عيوننا محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا اللهم اغفر لجميع مشايخنا وعفو عنهم وفق لهم وارحمهم جميعا يا الله اللهم اللهم الأموات منهم فواسع قبورهم ونور قبورهم وطاحر وعطر قبورهم واجعلنهم واجعلنهم منافذة نافذة في في قبورهم يرون خلالها مكانهم في الجنة يا الله واجعل قبورهم روضة من رياض من رياض الجنة يا الله اللهم إن أنت أنت إنك أنت سميع عليم إنك أنت سميع عليم إنك أنت سميع عليم اللهم تقبل منا زدنا ولا تنقصنا اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء الأحياء منهم والأموات اللهم طحي قلوبنا واستر عيوبنا وثبت أقدامنا ووحد سفوفنا وأوقف هروبنا واجعلنا من الذين يعملون في خدمة دينك الحنيف يا الله وجعلنا من من الذين يعملون في خدمة دينك الحنيف يا الله وجعل أعمالنا يا الله راضية لك يا رب العالمين وعف عنا ووفي لنا ورحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على كل كاتم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يعصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة